Literally four hours ago, Andrei Karpafi, one of the greatest AI researchers in the world, has left OpenAI. Hi everyone. Yes, I left OpenAI yesterday. First of all, nothing happened. And it's not a result of any particular event, issue or drama. Actually, being OpenAI over the last year has been really great. And I think we all have a lot of to look forward to. My immediate plan is to work on my personal projects. So this has massive implications, not just for OpenAI, but for the entire AI industry. As I said, Andre is one of the greatest, if not the greatest AI researcher in the world. So for OpenAI, they've just lost one of their most valuable employees. In the, in the quest of building AGI, that could slow them down by months or even longer. The people at the very cutting edge can add by far the most value. It's like Andre Karpafi, it's, it's not like he's worth 10 average engineers, it's like 1000 probably. <laughs> now what's next for Andre? He kind of hinted here, as this comment suggests. Does this mean more YouTube videos coming? And Andre replied, I started the next one two days ago. So his very interesting strategy, he uploads like twice a year basically, but every time he does, he gets like crazy amount of views. So that's because his his knowledge is so deep, like nobody can make tutorials so advanced as he can because he's literally the best in the world, right? Now the offers he must be getting from other companies, you know, Meta AI, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, I mean, the offers must be like in the multi eight figures because like, something that people don't understand is, you know, AI researchers, sure, they have salaries. So people don't think of them as like entrepreneurs or founders. Top AI researchers are paid like seven figures minimum. Yeah, he must be getting some insane offers and obviously he doesn't do this for money. Now, the first thing I saw, I thought of, when I saw this tweet was this clip from the Lex Friedman podcast, which he did over a year ago now. I love Elon. I love Tesla. It was always hard to leave. I love the team. I actually, I would be potentially like interested in revisiting it. Maybe coming back at some point, working in Optimus, working in AGI at Tesla. I think Tesla is going to do incredible things. It's a massive, large-scale robotics company with a ton <laughs> of in-house talent for doing really incredible things. Yeah. And human robots are going to be amazing. Autonomous transportation is going to be amazing. All this is happening at Tesla. So I think it's just a really amazing organization. So being part of it and helping it along, I think was very, basically I enjoyed that a lot. If you don't know, Andre has spent five years at Tesla. He might be the most, most responsible for full self-driving, like the most impact out of anybody because he was the senior director of AI at Tesla. And when he joined, I mean, 2017, obviously, there was no self-driving back then. I mean, even though Elon made those crazy predictions, today we do have self, full self-driving. Obviously, it's not in all cars, but all that progress, you know, those five years, Andre Karpafi was at Tesla building those teams. Now, if we scroll before that, in 2015, he got a PhD at Stanford. Now, what's even more impressive is his advisor was Fei Fei Li. She is one of the greatest AI pioneers in history, right? We got another legend. Andrew Eng is another pioneer in the field. Absolute legend. Then in 2015, he was one of the co-founders of OpenAI, where he worked for two years. Then he left to join Tesla. In this podcast, he says that he didn't want to spend his time, you know, managing people. He wanted to actually build AI and work towards AGI. So that's why he left and joined OpenAI. Uh, then he joined, but now he left, which, you know, as you can see, it's so new. He didn't even update his website. This is actually a couple of hours later after OpenAI announced this, which is a very hyped feature of ChatGPT getting long-term memory. We're testing ChatGPT's ability to remember things. You discuss to make future chats more helpful. So now, obviously, there is no way for the AI to remember what's said in a different chat, unless you put it into custom instructions, but you have to do that manually. You can think of it as a second version of custom instructions where the AI writes down important stuff. So if you reference, I don't know, a specific city in five different chats, then it's kind of can write that, okay, the user lives in X city. This feature is being rolled out to small portions of free and plus users, and it's easy to turn on and off. So let's see, you go to the bottom left, you click on settings. So it should, it looks like this. ChatGPT will become more helpful as you chat. To understand what ChatGPT remembers or teach it something new, just chat with it. But yeah, I just got a puppy. That's like something you probably don't want to put in custom instructions because it's not relevant to every chat. Free and plus users, right? That's unfortunate because a few days ago, I literally upgraded to ChatGPT Teams, which allows me to have, you know, 100 messages every three hours. And now I don't think I'm included in this beta trial. I want that long-term memory because that's something that's going to take AI to the next level. Right now, it forgets super easily. So this could actually be huge, especially for big projects. Now, this is actually funny timing for OpenAI to release this feature because I've just finished my advanced ChatGPT course, which is going to be available in my community. First link in the description. Now I might have to go back and add a couple of slides about this new feature. So, but yeah, this is a little sneak peek. You're the first one seeing this. So as I said, first link in the description, join the community and you'll see this course inside.